Hello everybody, I'm Chaxa Driver 31 in FHRC Brony. And uh, sorry for a little bit of shaking on the camera because I'm in the garage right now and it's kind of really cold here in, in Northern California. So, sorry about that. But anyways guys, I'm here to make a little side-by-side -side comparison of the, of the track, there we go, of the Traxxas Rustler. Did you guys remember that I did a review on this one? A little bit of a like a final review. Well, now I brought since I brought my rustler with me for the for this Christmas break, I figured why not make a video of a side by side comparison so you guys can see what it looks like from up close. And uh, I do apologize for not making any RC videos during the Christmas break. On my FHRC Brony channel, because it's kind of a funny story. Because uh, I broke this caster block over here. You might not see it, but I broke that caster block on my Rustler uh, when I was driving with my cousin with this with this car. I was filming it, but I I really didn't want to get that on camera. I felt I kind of felt embarrassed for that because he was driving my Rustler and I was driving his, but. I, but uh, I was I was like, hey, no big of a deal. I could just go to Hobby Town, which is nearby this how near this area in Northern California. <coughs> Excuse me. But they were closed for New Year's and stuff like that, so I waited for almost a week of not driving my wrestler. So I went to my Altoids box, which is right next to my Oakley bag and my charger. And guess what I found? I found the left caster block. I was like, wow, I am such, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't know it was there. I just like opened up. I just like looked at my rustler and opened up the, the Altoids box where my tools are supposed to be at, which they are. And I found the caster block. Yeah. Silly me. But anyways, yeah, that was a kind of a little bit of a funny story. Kind of. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the actual subject of this video. Uh, like I said, these are both rustlers. But which one is the older one? Is it that one? Or is it that one? This is the old one. Yep, this is the old one. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice kind of sounds a little bit kind of weird today. It's because, yeah, you know, it's kind of cold. I just woke up. Uh, just took a shower and stuff like that. So, Sorry if my voice kind of sounds like crap. Anyways. The, the original Rustler. These are Nitro Rustler uh, wheels and tires, by the way. These are um, the original um, Rustler rims. The other ones are in the the Nitro Rustler that they have. These tires are pretty much uh, okay. They're soft, but feels like they're kind of old. They're older, old already, so looks like they need to ch change that. These are uh, Pro Tracks. Uh, Protrax 2.2 inch rims, so um, they're the same thing as this one, except these are these are lower profile. So, and they have the Rustler, the modern Rustler body on it, the newer generation, um, which is no big deal. The old Rustler body is like basically a pickup truck style. You will see. You, I will. There's a lot of pictures of uh, vintage Rustler bodies. It doesn't look like this. This one's just a recent update. So we're gonna. Yeah, um, there's my Rustler. Um, from the exterior, they don't. They don't really look. They they do look the same, except mine's blue and his is white. I did paint this body myself for them. And the rustler right there is blue and stuff like that. White pro graphics with a dashy decal on there. 
final decal. And obviously the wheels are different. These are running at, the rears are using Anacondas and these are using the stock Eliasis. And you can also see the springs are white compared to these which are black. So let's go pop the bodies off these cars, these cars. And there you guys, there's the electronics. I'm gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side -side view. So, they're basically the same thing underneath, except this chassis is black, this one's gray. In 2006, when when Traxxas switched to the XL5 systems, they be, these these chassis became gray. The Slash was the only one that became that was gray in, when it was first introduced into in 2008. The Rustler, Stampede, and the Bandit were were the ones that changed their chassis from black to gray. The Slash didn't, because it was um, introduced in 2008. So anyways, the, um, you will not see this perfectly, but the front section of the Rustler XL1, which this one is, is the same thing as which, on the XL5, or the VX, or the modern VXL. Same thing, see, same front, same, uh, uh, can you see that? You know, sort of, same front bulkhead, same front little skid plate, yeah, the bulkhead, same front A-arms, and same non-adjustable camber links, as you can see, same bulkhead, like I said, this one's black, so you cannot, you can barely see that. Same from bulkhead though, same non-adjustable camber links, same, same uh, A-arm and same uh, shock towers. I, and I think these shocks over here on the XL1 are pretty much the same, if not the exact same thing as what you find on the XL5, except these are gray. I'm not too sure. So um, don't quote me on that. Let's see here. Um, uh, same same uh, shock tower on the rear, and I'm using a uh, stiffer uh, rear springs on the back, because um this thing kind of squats a little bit like the slash does, except the rustler uses the linear springs like these. Here, but the and my slash uses uh, and the slash uses progressive springs. Yeah, more on that later. That's okay. Let's move on to the back. Same transmission. I had to, I took the cover off, so train same transmission. As you can see, um, this one's using RPM, but this one is using the same um, uh, stock Rustler A arm. This one's using the same thing, stock Rustler A arm. Uh, same uh, telescoping drive shafts. Same non adjustable camber links. Like I said, same shock tower on the rear. What's, all, what's different is, uh, excluding the tires, just, um, what's different on the back is the power plant. This one's using a uh, Stinger motor, which is the original motor that Traxxas used, used to use. And I do know that Traxxas still makes a Stinger motor up till now. But this one is a uh, or the original Stinger motor and it still works great. But after running it earlier, when my rustler crashed, when this rustler had a bad crash, this one actually started to heat up a bit quicker. Over here is the modern Titan 12-turn 550 motor. I continuously go forwards and backwards with this thing so it can pop some wheelies. But this one doesn't heat up as much as the Stinger motor, which I do like on the Titan 12 turn motor. Like I mean I don't like the Titan the Titan motor overall, but the only the thing that I like about it is it doesn't it doesn't heat up as quickly as a stinger motor. The reason behind this is because the Titan 12 turn motor has a built-in fan. You see that little little white thing moving, spinning around? That's actually a built-in fan so it so it helps keeps the so it keeps the motor cool 
in the inside while you're running the while you're running your car. This one, on the other hand, doesn't have doesn't have it. And plus, this one's a 540 size motor. This one's a 550 size motor. Yeah, well, you can call it a 540 plus a fan on it, but the extra length is from a fan. So, performance difference. Uh, Titan Troll Turn Motor is a little slightly more powerful than a than a uh, Singer. I think this is a 20 turn 20 turn uh, motor. Uh, don't quote me on that one because I never had a Stinger motor on my Rustler or my Slasher in, in my life. So, so don't quote me on that. Um, as far as electronics go, let's go start off with the radio real quick. My Rustler uses a my Slashes uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio control okay, radio system. But this is the same same kind of body that was used on the tw original 27 megahertz. So I like to keep it as almost vintage as possible. The original controller that goes on that goes to my to my rustler is a it's the one that goes to my is going on my slash, which is the the black TQ 2.4 gigahertz, the new L G Um on this rustler, where's the controller at? Because I just had it earlier. Hmm. Where did that controller go? All right. Yeah, that took me like almost 30 seconds just to find the other controller. Um, okay. On this rustler, my cousin's rustler, he's using the... No, he's going old school. He's using the HPI TF3 digital proportional um, two-channel radio control. It does have a server reversing and stuff like that. A steering trim... Um, sensitivity throttle trim and um i don't know what that switch is down there but uh there's the on off switch this is basically a 27 megahertz and um hpi this 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 control came off from the nitro savage which is up there uh, you can't see it but it's up there that little yellow thing over there that with the blue that's the ecx torment so, so the um, this rustler is using the old twenty seven megahertz, and I'm using the uh, two point four gigahertz. And the two point four gigahertz is total is way better than the crystal, the crystal twenty seven megahertz, in my opinion. But if you want, if you guys like like poking people's eyes out, <laughs> this was just it's a joke, people. If you like the old school stuff, go ahead and go. It's fine to have a 27 megahertz. They're, they're both great. But I, I prefer the 2.4 uh, gigahertz. Okay. The ESC on the on the X01 is obviously the X01 speed controller. I know that Traxxas used to use the the original, um, what was that? The mechanical speed controller, which that is totally old school. Um, but this was an option that this car used to have um, when you first buy a Rustler back in the 90s. Plus this this Rustler, the Rustler in overall was actually made in 1994. So it's a really old vehicle. I don't know what year was this made. So I'm guessing somewhere around the early 2000s before they switched to XL5. Um, so I like XL1 speed controller. There's the on off switch. And uh, here's the XL5 system that goes on my Rustler. And um, currently, the battery, the battery that he, that my cousin's using is using a um, Speed Pack 1800 milliamp hours, a nickel metal hydride battery that came from the ECX Torment. So he's not using Traxxas connectors on on my Rustler, which I am using Traxxas connectors. Um, let's see here. On um, the servo, servo is using the old 2018. On my wrestler, um, I'm using a Hobby People A38N. You will not see that, but I can. I I do. So the original servo that goes on this one on this wrestler is that it's currently on my slash, which is a 2056 motor uh, servo. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to mention about this. Um, this right here, or actually, 
this right here, there's no indentation. There's no extra space where you can actually put the wires in smooth, uh, 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 firmly. So it doesn't have that, whereas this one does. Another big, um, one major difference between the new Rustler and the old Rustler is the old Rustler doesn't have any waterproof electronics, whereas the modern Rustler does, which is a, um, a great thing. So if you're going to go mud bogging on this one, uh, soak it up in water and stuff like that, you don't need to freak out, just keep on driving. But don't soak this in water like in a bathtub, like submerged in, like, just because it's called waterproof doesn't mean it's like fully on waterproof. And no, I am not going to get this thing wet. If I do get it wet, I clean it up. So if you do... But anyways, um, if you do mud bogging on this, on this car, like what you do on a modern rustler, yep, you're going to have a shortage on your electronics, which is not good. And getting new sets of that is going to cost you lots of money. Um, I'm thinking new receivers about... Close to thirty dollars, close. Um, as far as the the modern TQ two point four gigahertz system, the XL five system, they sell that for about sixty to seventy dollars on a, at a hobby shop. But if you if you're like me and if I want to go cheap, you can actually buy some of them used and still working for at least less than thirty dollars. I recently got another XL five system. From from a guy from Let Go for about fifteen dollars, which is a really good deal, and plus with the motor too. So yeah, so don't go mud bogging this if you don't want to waste your money on a new electronics. So overall, though, they're all pretty much the same. This I'll give you that, but this one's older, this one's not, but. They're both rustlers at heart. Another another major difference between this and this is this one back in 1999, I mean not 1999, 1994 till 2005, before they switched the XL5, this was less than $130 back in the day. When you buy a new one, this one costs about $189.99, so that's about $190. That's without the tax. Uh, depending on where you live, uh, in my area, which is 9% uh, tax, so that means uh, uh, 189.99 multiply that by 9%, that will give you about that will give you about $200, somewhere around there. So this is a $200 RC, $200 Rustler, that's with the tax, depending on where you live. In this one, it's less than $150. Can you imagine that? The, this Rustler is cheaper than this. The reason why this one's a little bit more, ex or actually a lot expensive than this when you're comparing the two, because this one has the waterproof electronics. And, oh, and, and um, I forgot to mention this one. In the, um, the uh, what, the hub carriers, which will you not, will you that bleh, the hub carriers that you guys will not see here is this one with these hub carriers on my rustler is bigger than than the ones that are in this rustler. The rust this rustler is using five by eight millimeter size bushing and bearing hub carriers. This one's using five by eleven millimeter size bushing bearing uh, hub carriers. So these these are a little bit bigger. So if you're gonna go upgrade to bearings on this one it's going to cost more uh i think a set of bearings like all uh, two four six eight bearings because there's two bearings per hub carrier and that's going to make that's from what i heard is about close to twenty dollars and getting four uh total hub carriers two front ones and two rear ones that's going to cost you about another five to seven eight dollars so, somewhere around there. So, if you want to upgrade, there's going to be a lot of a lot of money that you're going to be throwing at if you have a vintage rustler and you're going to put some modern specs on it. 
like putting a brushless system. And yes, and yes, you can upgrade this to brushless on this rustler, but the only problem is this rustler doesn't have metal gears. This one does. I mean, this, it doesn't look like from the outside because it's just this pinion and spur. But if you open these, this transmission up, you'll see metal gears. This one doesn't. So, I don't know about you. I don't know for those of you guys who have vintage rustlers, who ever upgrade to brushless. If if you guys if you guys know these the the metal gear set that Traxxas provides will fit on this one, please let me know. I would like to appreciate your feed your little personal opinions because you know because this is, this is YouTube. You know we we share our, share what we love, and you know everybody has an opinion, and some people may not like it, some people will do. Some people will disagree. Some people will, will not disagree. And, you know, I give respect to those people who... Well, I don't give respect to people who is uh, poor criticism. Like, this thing this thing is bad. Uh, like, doesn't give out proper reasons why this thing sucks. So anyways, if you want to upgrade your brushes on this one, you have to go with a Metal Gear transmission. I mean, you need to go to a new gear set because... Like the ECX Torments, if you go up, if you upgrade to brushless, and you don't upgrade it to a Metal Gear transmission, your gears will be stripped. So, Traxxas was really cautious if you, if you're for the Metal Gear set that's on that transmission, because a lot of people are going to brushless no matter if they're buying the original brush motor car, they're still gonna go to brushless regardless. I don't know about myself. Because I feel like I want to keep this thing stock as possible. Because I want to see how this handles on our, on my local track in L in Los Angeles. Um, see how how well it goes. So we'll see how how that happens. So, anyways, guys, I hope hopefully this is my my. Uh, hopefully, I got everything. If not, man, I really don't want to do another update video, but. I guess this is about it. Vintage Rustler, overall, is cheaper than the newer ones. Obviously, for having the waterproof electronics on the new ones. But all in all, though, they're all Rustlers. They're both Rustlers, no matter how old or new it is. So, heck, hopefully I will do a running video with these two. And uh, my cousins will give it, give this one one another shot, and I will give this another shot. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little kind of a long, long review stuff like that. You can call it a review. I call it rambling, but I guess that's it, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> forgot to mention to you guys this on, on camera earlier but hope you guys have a um a happy new year happy holidays for you guys and um stay safe everyone happy new year 2017